doing well welcome back to another video so we're back in my office location today i really just don't know at the moment where i like filming um i really struggle in this house with finding a nice backdrop that has good lighting and everything like that so i'm not actually using my ring light today i'm literally just in my office i've got the window there so fingers crossed this is okay i am actually using a brand new camera so if you had heard like any background shutter noise in my past few videos it was because my camera had actually broken um but yeah i finally got a brand new one I haven't gone for the same one because honestly if you guys have been here for a while you'll know how many issues i had with that camera i think i've been through like six of the same cameras so yeah we've got a whole new camera um but anyway i am not going to ramble in this intro because as you can see from the title i'm hitting you up with another home bargains and b&m haul today so it's been about three or four weeks now since my last one i don't tend to go there obviously not every week it is just like a monthly thing where i need to stock up on cleaning supplies just household essentials really and i've really been telling myself just lately laura you need to use what's in your cupboard before you stock up on new things um, and not only that i just had a lot of cleaning products i didn't really like but i thought i need to use them um, and then i can justify a good trip to home bargains or b&m and get some more so yeah without further ado make sure you're comfy grab yourself a drink because yeah, we've got one, two, three, four, yeah, about four bags full of stuff to get through. So let's get on. Okay, so I'm going to start with B&M first because I was so excited with some of the things I found in B&M. I feel like now the summer season is like inside. It's when the shops start to get all their spring summer essentials in and a lot of like outdoor stuff too. I absolutely love the garden in the summer. It's my favourite place to be. Like gone on the days of going out and about. I just love being in my garden. Um, so let's jump straight into the B&M bag. That was not supposed to happen. So first up, something super exciting, a new scrub mummy. Um, so this is a limited edition cat ones. Guys, seriously, how cute is this? If you have a dog, there is a dog version of this too. I'm just a sucker for anything like this. I feel like companies know that if they just make their you know, original scrub thing into a different shape. It's just going to sell. Um, and yeah, I love the fact it's pink too. I really love using these especially to do my bath. Um, if anyone faked hands and obviously shaves in the bath and stuff, you will know that you always have like residue left in the bath after. So what I like to do is use my flash um, blue bathroom, just like the liquid one, pop that in and then use scrub daddy, scrub mummy and it just gets all the residue off the bottom of your bath so quick and easy. Um, you hardly have to scrub so I love that. But yeah, this has got a sponge on that side, scrub on that. Love that. And then sticking to cleaning stuff, I finally managed to get my hands on some more Fabulosa um, bits. Now, if you've watched my past Home Bargains and B&M bits, you will know that I'm beyond obsessed with the intense scent um, in the Fabulosa range. Fabulosa, Fabulosa. I feel like I'm constantly questioning myself how I say that. Let me know how you guys say it so I can get this pronunciation done with once and for all. Is it Fabulosa or Fabulosa? How do you guys say it? But anyway, B&M had two different things I've not got in the intense spray. And this was the one thing that I really, really wanted. And it's just simply the disinfectant spray. Um, so it looks like this. I'm just going to use this for my worktops and stuff. And then I also got a foam freshener. So this is for carpets, upholstery, room freshener. Uh, oh my god, I can't tell you how good this smells. If you love masculine, just after shady scents, that is what this smells like. I mean, it's a bit weird spraying like your kitchen work surface with a masculine sort of like aftershave scent, but honestly, it smells so so good. I go through phases with like scents around my house. Sometimes I like fruity, sometimes I like more sort of like just a clean smell. But yeah, turns out lately I'm loving sort of like an aftershave man aroma. So yeah, love them. I don't really know what prices were like guys <laughs> because I must admit I didn't really look because I was just that excited about them. Okay, moving on. The next thing I just simply picked up was some more bath soak. Um, I really, really like the Imperial Leather Bath Soak. These are like 99p um, and they always do a fab scent range. This is a limited edition, Mellow, Mellow Mayazin. I didn't even smell it, obviously, because, you know, I had my mask on and stuff. Mmm, that smells gorgeous. I just loved that it was pink and girly, too. So I grabbed some more bath stuff, because you can never have too much. Does anyone else just literally put half a bath stuff in their bath? <laughs> Maybe just me. Uh, then, next up, oh, I just simply picked up some oval nail shape. Um, I think these are, like, two pounds and thin. Just some real, like, neutral, just stick on nails. Obviously, lockdown issues, not able to go to a nail shop. So, I have been gelling my nails, which I do really, really like. But sometimes, I just miss a little bit of length. And I always feel like when you've got a little bit of length to your nails, you feel a little bit more feminine, girly. Um, and you can never go wrong just a classic, pale, like, nude colour. <laughs> 
don't know what I'm trying to get at. So yeah, I thought they were good for two forty nine. So see how they go. Right. I mean, I'm just gonna go to the top of the pile because it's quite hard to like rub through this bag as I'm sitting here. Um. Right. <laughs> I mean, I did pick up quite a lot of sweet stuff. I feel like B&M is that place where they just have like two big aisles of cakes, biscuits, <laughs> just all the sugary sweet stuff. But I feel like I can never skip that aisle because it's always super cheap. They always have things in there as well that I just don't ever see in the supermarkets. And the first thing was these Maryland Cookies Chunky Rainbow. Um, yeah, I just thought they looked delicious. And you know how much I love the Maryland cookies. I don't know if these are going to be similar to the birthday cake ones. Probably not because they're not birthday cake. But I don't know. I just like the look of these. So I grabbed some of those. I feel like they were quite cheap as well. They were definitely less than a pound. Um, which I didn't think was too bad. Because like you can go in the supermarkets and pay two pounds for them. So yeah. Then I also picked up um, just a Galaxy chocolate bar. Love having some chocolate in the house, ready for the weekend. Do you know when you're just like watching a movie on a Saturday night, just fancy a little bit of chocolate. Um, and you guys know my chocolate orange obsession. I love chocolate orange and I love Galaxy. I feel like Galaxy is one of my favourite chocolates ever. And they now do smooth orange. Um, it does say new, so it must be new because I've never seen it before. So yeah, I had to grab some of that. Right, and then moving on to the next thing, I just simply picked up a Betty Crocker gooey chocolate chip cookie mix. Again, this says on the packet it's new. And I was watching Harriet Mills's Bean and Hall this morning. By the way, if you don't follow her, go and follow her. She does loads of barking videos. I just absolutely love her. She's really just a real down to earth, like just nice girl. Anyway, she picked up a Betty Crocker chocolate cookie mix. I don't know if it was this exact one, but I've heard so many people rave about these Betty Crocker. Betty Crocker, I feel like that's such a mouthful. Um, chocolate chip cookie mixes. So I just thought for like, I think it's like a pound. Um, it's always nice just to have in the cupboard if you fancy making some cookies. And um, they're only 151 calories per cookie, if you only eat one, that is. <laughs> right, then the not so fun, interesting things. Just some cat food. This is what I actually went in there for. Um, I did want the kitten ones of these. So I always buy my cats the Perina one kitten biscuits. I know they're adults, but... They just like them so much better because they're smaller biscuits. I don't know what it is with my cats, but they really struggle chewing big biscuits. Chewing? Biting? Crunching? I don't know. But anyway, they do prefer them, but I couldn't get them. So I just got them the adult ones. These were £2.99. Um, they're £4 in Asda, so you do save yourself a pound in there. And then I also just picked them up these for a treat. So I always get my cat Sheba, just because they have quite a high meat percentage. Like things like Whiskers, Edix. If you look at the meat percentage in them, they're really bad. Like they're, they're so low. Um, so yeah, I always try and get them cat food that's got high meat percentages. Um, and yeah, they normally have the Sheba jelly, but it's just just nice to switch up your cat's food every now and again just give them a little treat so these are the luxury pates um yeah if you're interested <laughs> some people might be like well i'm not watching laura talk about cat food i don't own a cat but yeah just in case you do own cats my cats absolutely love these um so i got them okay and then the next thing i picked up was some more body wash i was running low on body wash um and again i saw like a newbie one in the foam burst imperial leather i love the foaming shower gels how nice are they when you're in the shower or bath and you just lather all your body in foam and oh i don't know what it is i feel like as well when i'm shaving I like to use one of these or conditioner. Conditioner ones work a treat if you're shaving your legs, by the way. Um, but anyway, this is the You're Twisting My Melon scent. I love anything melon scented. Um, again, thought packaging was cute. So, so yeah, it was well and truly just sucked into buying that. So I got that. Okay, so moving on to the next thing I picked up from BM. And I'm not going to lie, I feel a little bit conned with this purchase. So there was a whole sort of like end aisle um, full of personalised cleaning bits and bobs. I'll show you the next one I got in a second. And I mean, I don't know about you guys, but anything like personalised and labelled up, I always feel sucked in by. Um, so yeah, I thought these little cleaning caddies would be so good, but not realising that they're two separate ones, so they're £2 each. Honestly, all of them were stuck together in twos like this. So automatically, you pick it up, see the price of like £2, and I just thought it was two for £2. I was like, oh, that's great. Like, that's a real good buy. But when I got home and looked at my receipt, she'd actually scan them through twice. And then when I was eventually able 
to see what I mean. Like, they're so hard to even get out. When I was eventually able to do that, I realised, yeah, this one's got another tag on too. So, if you go to B&M and want one of these, just note that they are two pound each, and now I've got two, which I didn't really need to. Show you what I might give one to Mitchell, and it might sort of give him some motivation to have a little cleaning caddy just for like everyday freshen up. So, yeah, this one says freshen up, which I thought was really cute. So I could just put like a duster in here, uh, maybe some window spray, just an anti back spray. Just like things for every day. And then this one says cleaning. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't need to. So I'll probably give one to either Mitchell or my mum, whoever wants one. Um, and then, oh, this was what I was going to show you. Because I think this is really cute. Um, they also did these bottles. Now, these bottles are not the best quality. I'm not going to lie. Like how the, um, God, just chucking everything around. How the personalised sticker is like stuck on, it doesn't look that great, like it's not a great finish to it. But I don't know, because I was sucked in by these, I was then sucked in by this, so I thought, oh my god, like how cute would that be if I put like one in there, one in there? But I did actually only buy one bottle, so it's not gonna look that great. Um, but this just says spritz on, so I just thought I could put some diluted flora in here, um, and it was two pounds, so it wasn't that cheap, but I just think it looks cute. Okay, next up for exciting purchases, this was actually something that I was so excited about. I picked up some plastic cups and little like wine glasses for the summer. So as you guys know, my garden is sort of like black rattan themed, and then I'm also going to start incorporating pops of gold in my garden this summer. I feel like in my house I always struggle with incorporating gold, because sometimes I feel like gold, if you're not careful, not, I'm not saying this about everyone, so don't be offended, but sometimes gold can look a bit tacky. So I feel like incorporating gold it has to be done in quite a classy way so i always think like with black it looks a good sort of look and as you guys know in my office i have black and gold and i feel like that works but yeah sometimes i feel like you just have to be careful with gold and um, where you put it in your house but anyway going off on a tangent i saw these and just absolutely fell in love let me just come in a little bit closer so they are black glasses with like a gold rim around the top I just thought these were so, so incredibly pretty. So the tall tumblers like this were £1.50. So I got two of those. And then I got two of these little wine glasses. Obviously, because they are plastic, in certain lights, they don't look full on black. Um, more like grey, maybe. But I don't know. I just like these. And the glasses were £2 each. So not cheap cheap but i just think when you're outside obviously with the wind and stuff things can easily blow over so i'd rather like not risk smashing up my best wine glass and stuff and just having these little plastic ones and yeah just thought they were cute okay so last couple of bits from b m just an orange 12 this is 69p which when you think you can get like a bar of chocolate for a pound like this is 69 it's so overpriced but you guys know i had one of these orange 12s oh god Probably like four, four or five months ago now, and it was so good. And a cup of tea, divine. So yeah, I thought I'd save that for a special occasion. <laughs> um, and then I also picked up some matte black spray paint. This wasn't that cheap. I'm guessing you probably can get this cheaper elsewhere, but it was the cheapest one in B&M. It was like 4.50, maybe. Um, but I'll tell you why I bought it. So I actually picked up. Let me get it. The reason I got the spray paint was because I actually picked up a drinks trolley. Now, story behind this, it's one of them things I didn't really need, but <laughs> I've been thinking about it for the longest time now. So I saw it initially in b &M like a month ago when I last went, where is my drink? <laughs> and it was one of them things where it was like, I don't need it. Like, I don't need that. Like, I'm just buying it for the sake of it. But then, you know when you leave a store and instantly just, it's on your mind the whole way home and then you're constantly thinking about it. Then you're looking on Pinterest at like drink spas, set up and things. Yeah, it's definitely safe to say it's been on my mind. And I just thought with summer, how cute would that be? Like we would out in the garden. Um, I just think it looks, I don't know. I just think they look so cute and i really wanted it so anyway i decided you know what i'm gonna treat myself to it so they have these in gold and silver now i believe that home bargains do these and they are 10 pound cheaper i mean i personally haven't seen them in home bargains i just saw i think on someone's instagram once but yeah like i say i've never ever seen them in home bargains that cheap else i would have gotten from there but as my home bargains don't do them i didn't really mind paying 10 pound extra for this one so this is what it looks like if I just show you. It's so, so pretty. So it's got like glass on the bottom and then it's gold. So the reason I got spray paint was because silver doesn't really go in my lounge now. Gold definitely doesn't. And obviously as you guys know, I've been putting like black accents in there. So I've got like a black lamp. My um, coffee table's black. I've got a black lantern. So I just thought I really wanted to put it in like the corner of my lounge, but it's not going to go. So... Yeah, I bought the black spray paint for that and I thought I could spray paint it. 
But the reason why I got the gold was because I thought, you know what, I might actually change my mind. I don't want it in the land. I still need to see where I'm going to put it. So if I don't pop it in my land, then I can put it in here. Like it actually go nicely. There's a corner that you can't obviously see, and there's nothing there at the moment. So I thought, oh, it could actually go in my office. What do you guys think? Would a drink trolley look a little bit weird in my office? Um, but I just don't know where else to put it. Um, and also, like I said, with my outside area being black and gold, eventually, you know, when it gets warmer, I could leave this outside. I don't know. Let me know what you think, but I just bought £30. Love that. Okay, now we move on to home bargains. Now, home bargains, I'm not going to lie, I didn't get like loads and loads of exciting things because it was just like household essential stuff that I need to get. But let me show you some of the interesting things to begin with. So, first up, I picked up a new double oven glove. I have been burning my hands on my oven on a weekly basis at the moment. The oven glove that I'm using is just absolutely shambolic, to be honest with you. I don't even know how it passed the oven glove safety test because, yeah, every time I'm taking something out of the oven, it like goes through. So I was like, right, enough's enough. Time to grab a new one. Um, and this actually fits in with my theme in the kitchen quite well. It's just like black and grey. Um, I thought it looked quite nice. And I think this was like three to four pound. It wasn't like overly expensive, I didn't think. Um, and it feels really thick, which is the main thing. So I grabbed that. Um, then I actually made a home bargains order online. So if you guys don't know, you can actually buy things from home bargains online. Now online it does slightly differ because things such as like shower gel, bath gel, bath gel, bath foam, um, and all your cleaning stuff, it comes in bulk rather than on its own. But they do sell all the home furnishings like just as is. Um, and they sometimes have things on there that I don't see in store. And one of the things I did see on there that I really wanted, which I've never seen in store, is this bath rack. Bath rack, is that what it's called? Yeah, over bath rack. So as you guys know, I do actually already have one, but I've absolutely ruined it. I basically spilled a diffuser on the bath rack, and if you have ever spilled a diffuser on paint, you will know that it literally just strips it all off and it goes disgusting. I mean, I could have painted it. I didn't have any white paint and wasn't really bothered about buying white paint and going to all that effort. Um, this was only like, I think, seven to eight pound. So it's cheaper than Dunelm. I think mine from Dunelm was 10 pound. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would treat myself to a new bath rack. So got that. And then the next exciting purchase was a new dustpan and brush. Honestly, the one that I have got in my kitchen at the moment, again, it's just really cheap and just not very sturdy and I just thought this one looked a little bit sturdier. I like the fact that it's black as well, it just goes a little bit better in my kitchen. And um, this is only like a couple of pounds, so it was very inexpensive. Um, but yeah, just what I found like that. Okay, now I'm on to, I think it's like the cleaning bag. Yeah, cleaning bag, here we go. So I'm just gonna whiz through this. I picked up a new bathroom at Minky. I like to have a Minky for each sort of like location in my house, so I'm not constantly using the same one on every single thing. So I have a kitchen one, a bathroom one. Do I have one for anywhere else? No, <laughs> I think I do. Um, but anyway, I picked up a new bathroom one. And I just simply picked up another Harpic Tropical Blossom. Then things that hang over your toilet. I don't really know what these do. They just smell really good. So, I grabbed one of those. Then I just picked up some of my Holy Holy Grail Antibacterial Natural French Soap Spray. This, honestly, is the best smelling kitchen thing ever. Like, I will never ever replace this, I don't think, because it just smells so unbelievably fresh. If you haven't tried this natural French soap scent yet, um, definitely try it. They do it in a floor cleaner too, so love that. Then I picked up some bathroom air fresheners. So, guys, I've got an apology to me. I feel like since I raved about them one pound like air wick fresheners, a few of you have bought them and you like they don't smell. And guess what? I have one in my cupboard and I got the new one out and put it in my bathroom and it just didn't really smell of anything. I don't know if it's like an intermittent thing where some of them smell or not, but yeah, I was a bit disappointed with my last one. So anyway, I thought I'd get the Febreze bathroom air freshers because these are really good too and I love these. Um, sometimes can be a little bit pricey, but I think I paid £3 maybe for these two, which I didn't think was too bad. I've not even smelled this actually. <laughs> and this is the new berry and bramble scent, limited edition. It's like a spring scent, I think. So yeah, pack of two, grab those. Then I just simply picked up some of my favorite bathroom cleaners. This is the flash bathroom. Uh, this is the liquid one that I was on about, which I love. And then I also got the anti-back bathroom spray too. Now this one I think is different. It's actually an anti-back one, whereas the original I don't think is antibacterial. But anyway, I love the smell of them, so I grabbed some more of those. And then moving on to the last bag, just some more Harpic Active Fresh Mountain Pipe, Fade for down the toilet, smells so good. 
Uh, then I just picked up some zip and lock food and freezer bags. Obviously living on my own, um, often I would get food and just because like chicken breast or something comes a pack of two, I don't always like use the other one straight away. So I just pop them in a freezer bag and freeze it. Um, so they always come in really handy. Oh, then exciting. I got a couple more minkies. I knew there was another use for one of my minkies um, and it is a pet minky. See what I mean with these brands, like they try and think of anything that's going to like, you know, draw you in to buy another minky when you don't really need another minky. But yeah, I couldn't resist this pet one. So yeah, at least I can use this on the pet bowls and anything pet wise. So I grabbed that one. And then I also got this one. <laughs> Honestly, I'm drawn into anything like mini, just cute. I don't actually even know what I'm going to use this mini minky for, but it is. Um, yeah, just the standard minky with a little mini one with it. I just thought that was adorable, but I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I just got it anyway. Oh, then I also picked up some unstoppable to breeze car fresh things. So these just clip onto like the air vents. Um, and I find that these smell really, really good. Like when you've obviously got the air on, the air on. <laughs> I can't even think, but you know what I mean. They do smell really, really good, and I do love the fresh and stoppables scent. Then, oh, I, I already picked up a shell on these for my own bargains. Do you know what? I just, I don't even know what I was thinking. Anyway, I've got two now, so I'm stocked up. Um, but yeah, I clearly picked up a Dove shower mousse from Home Bargains too. So that is that one. And then I did pick up another bath one. Well, the thing is, B&M didn't have the Moroccan Sunset and I do love the Moroccan Sunset Imperial leather bath stuff. Um, this honestly smells like a spa. It does actually say on it, indulgent spa. And I'm not kidding you. When I run a bath and put this in, I'm like, oh my God, I'm at the spa. <laughs> so let me just have a little sniff. Yeah, it is yours, so I don't care what you say. <laughs> and then the last couple of things in this bag, of course, cat treats, because you've got to think about your babies. And uh, then I also just picked up some more cold sore cream. I've mentioned this before. I still have front cold sores, and it's just nice to always have some cream on standby in case you can feel it coming on your lip. Um, then I have one more thing to show. So again, this was another random Laura purchase that I don't even know what came over me. I think it's not being able to go shopping in Primark that I'm now like, what can I spend my money on? <laughs> I'm sure you guys can relate, like being locked up in the house all the time, when you actually are allowed out and go somewhere, you just end up buying like things that you don't really need, but you do need. Um, so anyway, again, in Home Bargains, I come across this eight foot swimming paddling pool, um, and it was reduced from 40 pounds, well not reduced, it was on offer from 40 pounds to 20 pounds an eight foot paddling pool thing. So I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna get that <laughs> because in the summer, it does get so warm. Like, like last year, I remember it being so hot outside and I was really just wanting a swimming pool, a paddling pool to jump in. And obviously my best friend now has a child. So obviously when she comes over, hopefully in the summer, I just thought it'd be nice for her to play in stuff. So yeah, this is it. So if you want to get one of these guys, I'd grab them while you can. Cause I just think, like I said, for 20 pound, that was just such a good bargain. So yeah, that's my sort of like reliving my youth purchase because I was like, yeah, I'll get it for Danielle's little girl but also me and Danielle will most probably be in there sipping a gin and for me and Mitchell when he comes over on Saturday nights and stuff it'd just be nice when it's like warm just to have a few drinks sit in the pantry <laughs> oh anyway I'm gonna shut up and um, that was my home bargains and the in a little haul I really really hope you enjoyed it guys I know you do love seeing what I picked up from these bargain shops I love watching these these are my guilty pleasure do give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and also I would love it if you do subscribe if you are new here it would really help me out and yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Bye.